here we are at the Hanged Man, so we can go talk to Varric. So, it's a close resemblance, then. Well, he tells stories, and you tell stories. Although, none of his begin, No shit, there I was. I'll have to give him some better stories, then. Normally, you would find Varric in The Hanged Man. I would assume that he's living back here, but I'm not sure that this is actually where you'd find him in your party. Let's go, um, swap him out for another character in order to see where he actually ends up. Oh, he is back there. Okay, so he is up there. Standing around. Huh. In a room with nobody else. It's weird. So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. And any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight darkspawn. They forge into the deep roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. Are there any other options? <sighs> None at the moment. Bartrand had an entrance lined up, but it was a bust. I'll keep looking, but if we don't find something, we'll have a fancy expedition with nowhere to go. <laughs> Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A low-town woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. Okay, we got some friendship with Varric there. Boom. Let's, uh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. There we go. There we go. So we need to go and find this Grey Warden. Let's uh, swap out you for you, and then head on out of here. Now I know where the, uh, or at least I'm pretty damn sure I know where to find this warden. Uh, give me a sec. All right. Uh, the quest is called Tranquility, so I have to go to Low Town. So, what do you do, Aveline? You know I'm a guard. Why are you asking? I mean in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard of it, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. <laughs> or hold on. I don't want to start anything I don't want to get involved with. Alright, so I'm not going to talk to this one, because that'll start a different quest. I'm going to go up here, and Tranquility is continued up in this building over here. A lot of refugees in this building. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of is sitting on the throne. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? 
The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Who are you protecting? You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. If this mage is an apostate, the Templars will find him. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. I asked at 30 farms for work. Not one is hiring for realm. Okay, Varric and uh, Meryl, we got some approval bonuses from what we said there. Okay, we have the name of our... Hey, we heard you in there asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town, and it ain't gonna happen to him. I'm as Ferelden as you. I won't harm your healer. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our Queen Anora. Oh man, defuse that situation. Oh, got some French out of Aveline for that one. <laughs> Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk. Is that it? You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. <laughs> We've got the name of our... Uh of our Grey Warden friend that we need to find, and it's... Well, it's... Uh, we'll hold off until we get there. He's in Darktown, though. He's a mage, and he's a healer. Um, I got two markers on the map. No, that's not it. One up north, I guess. What am I stuck on? There we go. <laughs> there are two lanterns here. a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. Rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Horse the pounce a lot. He hated the deep roads. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Roads. It was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. 
So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. And some reasons of my own. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out, if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I'm part of an expedition to the Deep Roads, and I'll pay to find an entrance. Hmm. If I wanted money, I've been going about it all wrong. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested... Although, a favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the debts in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andres they said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. I doubt the Divine would agree with that. The Divine is only a mouthpiece for the Chantry. The Maker does not speak through her. Never mind. I do not seek debate. Only your aid. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Fekler. He was sent here from Ferelden, when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Night Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cells, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. Over a dozen were made tranquil just this year. The more people you ask, the worse the rumors become. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Okay, I already heard this. You've convinced me. What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. Okay, we got a we got another quest. Now this is Anders. Now I didn't for the sake of the playthrough of Dragon Age Origins, I did not play through Origins Awakening. Well, that's not quite right. I did actually, but as I was getting through it, I realized that the it was not turning out well. In fact, it was turning out to be a, like kind of a, a bit of a disaster. Boring episodes that took too long. I was getting kind of tired of playing Origins anyway. So I decided to scrub the whole thing and went and jumped straight to Dragon Age 2. Now, the, the downside to that was we never got introduced to Anders, the character that we just met. A character from the game uh, from Origins Awakening. Okay, this is where we're going to go. Um, Anders was a mage that was that escaped from the circle, was captured by Templars, and brought back. Now, he on his way back to the circle tower, he was being held at the Grey Warden Keep when the Darkspawn attacked. These Darkspawn uh, killed everybody, and it's implied that perhaps Anders killed the Templars that were taking him back, although he denied it. He helped us defeat the um, the Darkspawn commander in the area, so the character you play as, which may or may not be the Grey Warden that you played as in 
origins gives him a sort of a pardon in the way of the uh, of him being sort of brought into the Grey Wardens. When you do something like that, it can't be refused by the person, and it can't be refused by, like, any government in the local government. So, the Templars had to give him up, even though they were probably going to bring him back to be executed. He joined because, hey, I don't die this way. Now, his portrayal in that game was kind of this hedonistic um, lunatic, Although he did have a bit of a soft side to him. He was a bit of a, um, an awkward person with not much in the way of normal human social skills. And obviously, the mages tend not to be because of their weird conditions in which they're locked up all the time. So, uh, he was uh, <laughs> kind of an awkward, funny fellow. He seems to have changed a little bit. I my guards fight gangs in dark corners, but if you'd like to help... Okay, we got two quest markers here. The, what we're seeing here is a little bit of a different Anders than what we'd seen before, though he do, does still have a little bit of that personality to him, like the whole cat sir pounce lot thing. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Okay, we need to find our mage. We're in the we're in the circle right now. This is weird looking. Ah, oh, that was easy. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. No! You will never take another mage as you took him! Whoa! Shit is getting intense! This guy's tough. Oh, up, oh, hawks down. Okay, that one's down. Oh man, don't tell me about to lose Varric. Oh no, we're good. I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But it's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. 
I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. <laughs> we should leave before more Templars come. That wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. This is obviously difficult for you. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. So, that explains your whole sexy, tortured look. Perhaps I should check a looking glass more often. I had not thought to ever find a woman who would look past what I just said. My maps are yours. As am I, if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens. But if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. Okay, we picked up Anders as a playable character. Because that's exactly what we needed, another mage. <laughs> we have a lot of mages. Okay, we have gotten a another, well, something, he revealed a little something to us. Now, Justice was another character in Origins Awakening. Now, the two of them have been merged into one thing. And one of the things everyone's always fearful about when it comes to mages is the concept that they will be possessed by demons. Because demons... I say you were a Grey Warden. I was. I met a Warden once. Back in Ferelden. Duncan, I think his name was. Very odd man. He had a marvelous beard, though. I'd never seen one before. I thought a squirrel had grabbed him by the chin. Duncan's dead now, so okay. They're always afraid that the mage is going to be taken over by demons, and... Yay. And uh, that has gone and, well, it's, oh, come on. <laughs> I got money. How much do I have? Oh, I'm one short. <laughs> the um, shadows are weird. The gray, uh, damn it, where was I? 
they're afraid of the mages because of demonic possession, because the demons are malevolent spirits that are jealous of anybody who lives in the sort of physical world that we exist in here. Now, justice seemed to have been a different case. It was a spirit that wasn't evil by its nature. In fact, it wanted to do good things. It was actually, uh, it merged with Anders and took on the negative quality, qualities that Anders had possessed and has turned into sort of a violent creature and has negatively affected Anders in a certain way because when justice appears, justice wants blood. Well... He's joined our party, and we have both Anders and Justice on our group now, for better or for worse. What's this? Mother living in this hole. We've got to get out of here. Oh, there was nothing there. What a dump they're living in. Yeah, this chair is even broken. Look at that. Well, anyway, that'll be the end of the episode. Thanks for watching.